today we're trying out a new spot just behind the camera I've got farmland that I've got permission for but just now there's crops on it so I can't get to it um, I'm just going to try in here it's a small woods just off the edge of the farmland not too much hope but I can give it a try uh, might have some finds coming in the future uh, could possibly be really important finds for this area uh, Treasure Trove Scotland are looking at them just now so I'm not exactly sure what they are just yet but as soon as I know you'll know uh, could possibly be something really good but I'll just hold off wait and see what they say could be something really good but I'm not too sure uh, weather's not been too good it's been raining but sometimes that can help metal detecting unless you get down a bit deeper but I'm going to try in these woods and see how good we do see if we can get anything uh, but I'm sure we'll get something we've went and dug four targets this is my first one right here dig it together and see what we get. Not too hopeful, but... It's jumping from 75 to 64. It's consistent sound. That's a good thing. Dig it. See what we It's quite soft here, so when you're turning it, it sometimes falls apart. It's okay, that one. Gloves on. Remember in ground balance, your pinpointer. Just hold it next to the hole, turn it on. Quite simple. Still on the side of the hole. So, if you're still in the hole, just go in at either side of it, pick one side, whatever side you think's best. Go in behind it slowly and just get a wee prize out. Not too hard. Just leave it sitting in place. Just get your pinpointer. Just run it along. That's the part that just took out, it's not in there. Oh, it's a coin. We'll bring it in closer so you can have a look at it in place. I think you should see it right in the centre. early 1800s, early 1900s, it's really hard to tell. You see Britannia on it, but... Good luck for the first hole. Got a 
another three to go. We've got the map the sticks just over there. Nice one. Down here. It's really good to get coin first of all. This one's a bit more jumpy. Remember, always give yourself a good width around the hole. Don't don't go too tight. If you go too tight, you end up skiffing it. Grass is resilient. Take a big hole at not a problem. Just make sure you put it back. It's the way you seen it. What's up? Ground bombs. Oh, Inside that, nothing there. So we're deeper. It's just the same as the last time. Just go out wide there. Go out wide at this hole. Just widen it up. So one angle, one there, and an angle. Just loosen it up and take it out. Problem I've got is there's a root right at the bottom of the hole. I'm trying not to have to cut in it. There we go. And it's a big piece of lead. That's a good sign. You always remember there's lead of people. Drop things. It's really old looking lead, quite soft. Put it in the bag. On to the next hole. Next hole, straight down at the bottom, right here. We'll dig this together and see what we get. Not too hopeful. Signal's really jumpy, but I think there could be iron here. Something here. So sometimes the iron can give you bad signals and jumpy because there's something right beside it. So you have to always be sure. The best way is just to dig it. Looks like we're in the sod, somewhere here, somewhere right there. So what I tend to do 
is, if you think it's here, just put one hand there, one hand there, and softly split. Don't need to break it all apart. Just soft split. And that'll distinguish this side from that side. In here, or here, same again. Soft we split, and here, or on this side. So just softly take that, and it's bottle wood. But also, as you can see there, that's glass, really sharp glass. Now, you see people, they just bust these open straight in, hands, rip them apart. And that's in there. Now that edge right there, that'll slice you wide open. Not a problem. Not a problem. So it's always good, the technique, you just break it apart slowly and just work your way into the area you're looking for, which is right there. This, I'll take that. That's dangerous. It's right here, I'll let you hear it. Not too hopeful, it could be an aluminium can. I'll give it a try. 76, 75. Try and we'll see what's there. Oh. Sounded like an aluminium can there. This is nuts. Good for digging. Give that to there. Give it another check. Sounds nice. I'll put my gloves on and we'll check it. Sounds like it's in here somewhere. Oh. I guess that's what was giving us a good signal. Big piece of machinery. It's a really sweet signal. See, it must have snapped off. And some force to snap that. It's been in the ground for about eight year, hundred year. Still screws on and off. I'll put that in a bag. We check the hole. On to the next target. Nope, nothing there. We have another target down here. Not too hopeful. Could be a ring pull, maybe. We'll dig it and see what we get. Not too hopeful, could be a ring pull. Again, more roots. Not easy digging at all. Sometimes if you're digging in hard ground, it's best just to go straight round the hole go right round the entire hole just to expose it for yourself make it easier check the hole again now it's reading 62, 64 still in the hole we'll check it with this
Good to see my right on it. It's in this side. This, if your pinpointer is doing that, we balance it again just next to the hole, not next to the object. Just, just off it. Yeah. Not too sure what that is. Some sort of copper type thing. Next hole we've got is right here. <coughs> Much more hopefully this sound. You can hear it's a clear, distinguished sound. Not much crackle. Not to say it's something good. Could be anything at all, but normally when you hear a clear, consistent sound, it usually tells you something good. What it is, who knows? That's why you need to dig it. But I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can see it better. But I'll let you hear it first. Clear, 75, 77, 78, 75. So, clear this sound. Bring you in a bit closer. So, we're right down here. Get the hole dug. Let's see what we get. Remember, give yourself a bit of room. Start digging small holes. You have to start digging more and more and more on your knees. So get yourself plenty of room. You don't always hit it first time, but give yourself enough room. So what you're doing here? Slowly around. We'll see. Reading just down the bottom here. That's so what I'll do. Let's turn that round a little. Right in here. Get straight in here. Sure. Right in here, it's really small. Really small. So I have it in here. I think it may be aluminium can. Post up can. Yeah, I think that's what it is. They give you a really good signal. Aluminium. But you've got to dig them. Because it could be a wee silver coin. But we'll recheck the hole just in case. I was getting a wee bleep every so often, so could be something else inside here or inside here. So we we'll check the hole.
Oh, nothing in there. Get the whole coast back over. Any loose dirt. Flat it down. Slowly tip it over. You can see back in. Perfect. Just need to give it a wee push with your foot. Not too hard. Give it room to breathe. All packed down. Gone. Nobody will know you're breathing there. It's a thing you've always got to remember. Is if someone else has come here to metal detect and they see you have holes, then they see you're digging stuff. So it's always a good idea to cover your hole up as best you can, and then people don't know you've been here. Well, the next target we found is just right here with the stick, marked it with the stick. So we'll dig it again and see what we got. I think it was about 55 ish. So it could be a button, could be a ring pool, or gold. So we'll have a look and see. Go down here. I suspect it might be in the sod bowl, but we'll have a look. Yes, quite in there. Sounds like it's in the middle. Somewhere in here. So, same again. Reground balance. So one right and here. I think it may actually be right on the top, so I'm not too hopeful now. This one's defeating me. Right on it now. Must be something really small. Oh. Well, it shows you how powerful the metal detectors are. I've got that sensitivity one down and I'm picking that up. Totally a little piece of aluminium. Not too sure what off, but it's really flexible, so a bit of a pain or something. Oh well. Gotta keep digging them. That could have been gold. On AT Max, 50s, low 60s, is gold, or could be gold. But, right in the next hole. 